Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are moving on in a new direction. I want to thank you guys for being patient as I was making videos mainly for my other channel on the last things that we can do to this engine before we pull it out. In today's video, we're going to yank it out, put it up for sale, get rid of it, because next weekend, hopefully get the LS if everything goes smooth. Kind of getting balls deep in a project when there's so much uncertainty right now in this province with the economy. I'm already committed though, so whatever happens, happens. No going back now. Well, the garage is heating up. Gonna pull out transmission temperature sensor, start cutting the wires that attach it to, start removing the sensors, wiring on this side. Go do the same on the other side. Well, that's my farmer fix. I don't have a proper plug to put back in the pan, but I'm gonna fire up the compressor and I'm gonna use my mini vac to suck back as much oil as I possibly can. If I put the plug back in and suck out that and then take out the drain plug. He's getting full, almost to the top. Shit. All the electrical connections are pulled off. This little bastard right here just broke by looking at it. It's so brittle. I think the lock is somewhere on the floor. Yeah, here it is. Went to go slide the lock over. The little bastard just snapped. So now, go on the other side. I don't think there's too much for electrical there. So this side got another electrical connection right there. Uh, crankshaft position sensor. Move the starter. Last of the wiring from the motor and we'll be ready to start pulling this out. This is where the no fun's gonna begin with having a garage. Doesn't have the space I need. Seems pretty tight. Oh, good thing I didn't start to lift. That, that right there, my friends, would not have ended well. Let's try this again. Okay, so the back's already got tension. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get a come along or something once we uh, get some headroom here. Adjustment here to tilt this thing back up in my favor. I get these motor mounts a little straightened out. I'll pull those out. See what the fuck happens here, over. Well, it didn't fucking drop to the ground.
fuck's sakes. This gun's so fucking big. Really don't want to be anywhere near that. Okay, fuck, we're looking good. Now let's see if we can lift her up now. There we go. We're free of one engine mount. Probably still jammed on that side there. Rule number one never ever get your fingers in the way. You may lose them. I need to lift up maybe a little bit more. It's almost as if, yeah, I'm fucking like locked up against the side of the frame there. So now I gotta tilt the engine back down because I'm caught caught on the bell housing not on the bell housing but the uh, transmission tunnel so I need to picking up what I'm laying down it's all because I don't have a bolt on this side. Looking so close. I wonder if I can lift her up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm, there we go. Hey, we're getting free. Free of the engine mount. I want to lift her up some more. Then I want to start pulling her forward a little bit. Just like that. Looking good. Now I want to start tilting it again. This is going to cause me some issue here. That's all these wires that are caught along there. Who the fuck does that? Attaches the transmission bracket and run the wires through it and you can't feed them through because it's a big fucking mess. Fuck me. something oh fuck blade just fucking shattered fuck me and that my friends is why you have a guard on your grinder Fuck me. I mean, need to have to lower the engine a little bit to get that fucking wiring harness up and over that. That nightmare. Try this again. Pull it forward a bit. How are we doing? Wiring's clear. Got 
one more bracket on there. Looks like the transmission holding her in. Taken care of. I think I can tilt this up some more. Fuck, I wonder how high this thing can go. I need to lift it up in order, up and over the motor mounts, I should say. That's where I need to be. That's where I need to be. Now what am I stuck on? Okay. Nothing. Should be free. Alright. Tilt this thing up a bit more. It's like something's trying to pull this thing back into the abyss. What I really need to do is uh, try to get this thing to turn some more. So get it up and off. The Jeep. I don't think he can lift. Sir, yes, sir. <sighs> and I'm out. Let's lower this thing down some. There we go, it's finally out. Came out a lot easier than I thought. Fun part's gonna be, am I gonna have enough room if I move enough shit to skate it out the back door? I'm gonna push my Jeep over. Probably gonna have to move my welders. Oh fuck, this is gonna be a nightmare, boys. This is gonna be a nightmare. Actually wasn't too bad at all to get her positioned there. There's a wrecker coming by tomorrow to pick up the engine and transmission to give me beer money for it. I don't got time to screw around with it or take it to the wrecker myself. My new drivetrain's supposed to be ready to go next week. That's what I'm hoping to pick it up. Meantime, did some measurements. Transmission's 24 inches, engine's 31. Total length roughly 54, 55. Interesting enough, 
The six liter engine is 31 inches. That little Cummins right there is like 20 inches. 20 inches, man. It would fit so nice in there. But we're not doing that. We're doing an LS swap in this. Saving that for JK. Look at this mess. I think I warranted myself some motherfucking beer time. All right, motherfucking beer time. What do we got going on tonight? Zero issue venom. This is a good beer. This is a black rye IPA. We did a good job today. The engine came out with less struggle than I was expecting. Motherfucking beer time. Now, the next stretch of videos, not going to be too exciting. I'm going to warn you right now. I don't know what's going to happen. We are going to be picking up the engine. That one will be exciting. But there's going to be a lot of preparation. There's a lot of things we got to do. Uh, start gutting the wiring, all that bullshit. Of course, on this channel, you're going to be able to watch the vlog version of it. But on my BSK Garage, I'm going to have a shortened version of it. So if someone's willing or wanting to do it themselves, it'll be more of a step-by-step. -step. Hopefully all that will play out. It's going to be a big project. Going in some uncharted waters right now. This will be my second uh, V8 swap. Probably about 15 years ago, maybe even a little longer than that. I had an S10 that I put a V8 in it, 350 with a 700 R4. It was a lowrider on hydraulics. That was a really fun project. Man, I had I'd like the door handles, I shaved them off. So if I wanted to open up the doors, I pressed a button and my doors would pop open and there's a lot of cool stuff on there. If you guys are interested, maybe I'll do like a video of it. I'll probably find some old photos because this was before the days of digital cameras and everything. So if you're interested, maybe I'll do up a video, kind of explain what I've done. Anyways, motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.